Hey, I'm Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to head on vacation. My husband and I will have been married for five years on May 4th, Star Wars Day, and we are going on vacation to the beach and we're taking our delightfully adorable Corgi with us. He has never seen the ocean before, uh, but he does love <laughs> to dig holes in the dirt. So he will love the beach, I am sure. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't freak out about the ocean. He kind of he can be kind of a scaredy cat. He's already afraid of the beach chair that we just got uh, to take with us. So I don't even know what's going on with that. But our basic plan is we just have this cabin and we're planning on reading the entire time. I married uh, this guy from my writing program uh, who I kept arguing with continuously and eventually we just got married so we could keep arguing. It worked out really well. So Sam and I did a couples tag a while back. I'll link it above my head down below if you want to go check out the person that I happen to be married to. Yeah, I like him, but I feel like I might be a little bit biased there. Anyway, so we are taking books. I have no idea what books he's taking for his, he likes totally different kinds of books <laughs> that I do when we go on vacation. So I don't really make TBRs on my channel because I'm very much a mood reader uh, to a horrible fault. Uh, I, I definitely have to be in a mood for a book or it will definitely negatively affect my opinion of a book if I'm just not feeling it. Uh, but I then now need to take a bunch of books to the beach with me because I have no idea what I want to read. Now, full disclosure, I will have my phone uh, with a bunch of library apps on it and then I'll have my Kindle with me. So I do have those, so it's not like I'm going to suffer or anything, but here are some of the books that I'm planning on taking. There are some of my most anticipated books that I have yet to read um, from this year. So let's just get into those. And if you have read any of these, definitely let me know. Um, again, they will all be linked down in the description box down below if you want to go check them out. So first up is The Astonishing Color of After by X Emily X. Harpan. This is from Little, How Little Brown for Young Readers. Wow. One of those days, guys. <laughs> anyway, this is about a girl who's biracial. She is Taiwanese and I believe her dad is white. And so when her mom commits suicide, she goes to Taiwan to learn more about her mom's family. And she is just very guilty about this because while her mom was committing suicide, she was kissing her crush the first time. And she just has a lot of emotional extra stuff from that as well. So uh, she's going there, but she also sees her mom appear to her as a bird. So it's a magical realism element. It's very, it's pretty long. It's the longest book that I have uh, that I'm taking with me. I'm greatly looking forward to this. This is YA and I don't normally read YA, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book and I keep seeing it everywhere and eventually even I will be convinced to pick it up. So I'm really looking forward to this book and yeah, just, I'm sure you have seen it everywhere as well. I don't know how you could, <laughs> it's like when the goldfinch like was everywhere. Speaking of bird covers, we have The Gunners by Rebecca Kaufman. This is out from Counterpoint. Now, I have been looking forward to this book since I heard about it, and uh, Autumn and I had it as one of our most anticipated books for the first half of the year for Reading Women uh, because I just think it sounds amazing. It's about a group of friends called The Gunners, and the POV character is a man who's losing his sight. He has a disease where his sight is deteriorating, but one of his people in the friend group, she commits suicide, and so they have to deal with that. I didn't realize that the two books that I just mentioned have similar themes. Didn't even realize that. So I have some happy books as well. So we might need to intersperse some of these uh, because I'm not sure about this next one either. And that is West by Karis Davies. This is about a man in America set in the 1800s and he leaves his daughter to go investigate dinosaur bones. He thinks they're dinosaur bones in Kentucky. So I think this is definitely up my alley uh, having family from there. And different things so we'll see what happens with that. I mean it's short to be short but I think it's one of those artistic short books kind of things and that cover is absolutely fantastic so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Not really beachy might be noticed I'm not really going for beachy books I don't know what that is I just change locations and I just keep reading what I want to read. Um, the next one I have is Welcome to Lagos by Chibundu Anuzu and this is out from Catapult. It's about a Nigerian officer um, I'm not sure if he's in the military he is army officer. He's ordered to kill, um, let's see, what is it? Innocent civilians. And he says no. And so he defects from the military and he runs to Lagos. And that's just, as far as I know, that's all I know. But I've heard great things about this book. It was published in Nigeria and, and the UK first, and it's finally here in the US. So I'm very excited that I can finally have a chance to read it. One of my most anticipated nonfiction books is And Now We Have Everything on Motherhood Before I Was Ready by Megan O'Connell. This is from Little Brown, and this is a nonfiction memoir that's blurred by every one of their mother's brother, and it's supposed to be absolutely fantastic. This one is taking the internet by storm, especially if you follow like best of women writers lists like I do, because for the podcast and things, and it's everywhere. So 
I, if you haven't already picked this up, you definitely need to. Also, this millennial pink cover is giving me the idiot impressions, though they're very much different books. But it has like the gray picture on it. They have the gray rock. Anyway, I think it's cool. I like book design. See? That's beautiful. The last book on my list is Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman. This was shortlisted for the Stella. It didn't win, but it's one of my top two to win. I've heard great things about it. I think this is an alternative history from Australia, and this is actually out in the U.S. in the fall, but uh, one of my bookish friends who's originally from Australia sent me this uh, Australian edition because she had finished reading it. I really don't have anything else to say about the book. I think you guys know how much how excited I am for this, and I'm trying not to learn too much about it before I read it, so uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, and I think this is a great also. It's just the the, the feel of it is really great I think for the beach. I haven't yet figured out how to keep the books nice um, at the beach. I think it will probably involve like plastic bags and stuff and I don't really plan on getting in the water because it's going to be super cold in the water I imagine because it's only gonna be 70 to 80 degrees the entire time that we're there so kind of chilly to get <laughs> get in the ocean but we'll I don't know but I'm very kind of picky about keeping my books nice and stuff so anyway neither here nor there. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.